I was enjoying some wild sea spaghetti when all of a sudden I realized I'm late for my shrimp surgery with Cardi. So I put the spaghetti in my pocket and ran to my office. And sure enough, Cardi was waiting with a huge, bulging gill flap. I got out my tweezies and began the operation. This isopod parasite was so big that it was extremely difficult to remove from the gill flap. Imagine if you were Cardi. If you were to scale this parasite to the size to fit a human, it would be like having a watermelon-sized parasite on your rib cage. Imagine how that would feel. Well, let's get this parasite removed once and for all. But wait, there's more. We gotta remove the little male parasite as well. Now just look at him. Look at him! We eat these parasites into the compost, set Cardi free. I was outside tasting old crab shells when all of a sudden I remembered I'm allergic to crabs and I'm late for my shrimpy surgery with Kim. Kim's little gill flaps are infected with an invasive blood-sucking isopod parasite known as Ortheon griffinus. And the parasite's preventing Kim from forming eggs and carrying out her lifelong goals of becoming a single mother. But don't worry, Kim. I'm here to help get this parasite removed. I carefully inserted the tweezies and pulled out the ginormous female parasite from her gills. But the little white male stayed behind, so I very carefully removed that pesky critter as well. Now she's parasite free. I gave the parasites a proper burial, set Kim free. You are not going to believe me when I tell you this, but I swear it's true. I was outside enjoying some fresh ocean sand when all of a sudden I realized I was late for my shrimp surgery with Chloe. I put my lunch in my pocket and ran to my appointment. And there she was. Chloe, in all of her glory, with a huge infestation of blood-sucking isopod parasites. But don't worry, Chloe, I'm here to help. We're gonna get those parasites removed and get you feeling better in no time. And I always get comments of people saying, these aren't shrimp, these are crawdads. Well, here's what a crawdad actually looks like, and this is a Eupogebia pugitensis mud shrimp. Anyways, let's finish getting those pesky parasites removed from Chloe. There we go, you're a good shrimpy. High five. We'll eat the parasite into the compost, set Chloe free. Oh my gosh, look at all these comb jellyfish. Let's pick them up and get them back to the water. Let's go. Oh, we've got one. There's another one here. Come on, buddy. Let's get you back to the water. Oh yeah, the baby. Let's go, guys. Let's go. So many animals washed up from yesterday's tsunami. And it just look eat. Run! Today we're going to play What's Under the Rock. Let's check what's under this rock right here. Oh my gosh, look at these. Look at these. These are little eel fish. Ah, come here, buddy. We'll get one and take a close look at it. Oh gosh, they're so slippery. These guys are so slippery and there's so many of them. Okay, ah, come here, come here. There we go. All right, let's take a look at him. Oh, he's so... Okay, here's another one. The other one jumped in the water. Okay, oh, these guys are so squirmy. Look at them. These are little eels. So cute. Little babies. I love you guys. All right, go for you, little buddy. Whee! And we'll cover the last one back up carefully. And that was just under one pretty small rock. Imagine how many more are under all of these. Oh my gosh, there was a huge crab right down here, and it looks like it has a smaller crab in its grips. I'm gonna go pick him up so we can get a closer look. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. Right towards me. Don't pinch me. Got him! Got him! Oh my gosh! It is! It's another crab right in the grips. Oh my gosh, this is a big male crab holding a small male crab. I think that uh, this, this big male crab is about to make the small one lunch. Whoa! That is so cool. Man. Oh, oh man, this crab is strong. There's two crabs here. This big crab has got this one in like a death grip. Look at that. You can hear him clicking, listen. All right, we're gonna set him free. Even though this little crab's probably gonna get eaten, uh, this big crab caught it fair and square, so that's the circle of life. There you go. Woo. You are not gonna believe what I just found at the beach. This huge beehive looking cluster of animals is actually not a beehive at all, but instead, this is a huge group of gooseneck barnacles. These crazy little animals attach themselves to rocks near intertidal zones. These things are actually edible, and people all over the world consider them a delicacy. I personally don't indulge in this species of food. And to be honest, the closer you look at them, the more they kind of just freak you out. A lot of people ask me why you can't touch the center of a sea anemone. Well, it's not that it's impossible or that it's going to kill them. That's just their mouth slash their, um, their, uh, pooper. <laughs> In my last video, I called this little hole its pooper, but it's not actually where they poop. Green sea anemones actually excrete their waste in a more interesting way. They excrete it as ammonia through their tentacles. That's pretty cool. 
You are not going to believe what is about to happen to this shrimp parasite. For over 40 years, this invasive species of isopod parasite has been causing the decline of this native mud shrimp's population. Well, today, I came up with an idea for an experiment. I want to see what would happen if I were to put a parasite in the tentacles of a stinging jellyfish. But first, I have to find a jellyfish. And I hate making part twos, but it looks like I'm going to have to. So be sure to like and follow to see what happens next. 